I definitely want to talk about your experience at TCU because um, I know some some great things happened there. And actually, you know, for me, I moved to New Jersey from St. Croix for opportunity in track and field. I was sent there. And, and one of my first experiences when I moved, there, I moved there for high school. And so ninth grade, I went to my first Penn Relays. Mm-hmm. And at my first Penn Relays, I seen y'all, TCU, run 119.6. And it was crazy in the four by two, the four by two. That was one of my first experiences. Pen relays. I'm seeing all the college athletes, all the pro athletes. And I'm like, wow, this is what track and field really is. And you guys go out there and run faster than the pro team. Yeah, we wanted to race them. But man, that was crazy. But the, the energy in the stadium, the energy in the stadium is a, it alone is enough. 119.6. Yeah, yeah, we were we were ready that day, and we had some great performances. We had a, an amazing team. Ooh. I mean, we did have some slip up in two thousand Duke University where we didn't finish the four by one. We were undefeated until that day. Um, we also had problems where indoors, two thousand one, we lost by one point. Oh. No, we don't understand. We were cheering for the other teams because we needed to beat the yeah. We, <laughs> yeah, we needed Baylor to win. We yeah. needed Tennessee to lose. Mm-hmm. And that boy fancy came down that last that last fifteen to four four by four. I'm like, yeah, stop, man. Alien fancy, that's right. And no man, and then we came outdoors same year in Oregon and lost again. <laughs> NCAA championship by one point, twice in the same year. This is the stuff you see in the movies. Yeah, I mean that 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 hurts. But then I was also able to move on to win my first world championship medal um, outdoors in the two hundred, uh, although a false start in two thousand one in Edmonton, mm-hmm. lane one to run twenty twenty out of lane one. Yep. You know, so sometimes yes, you get knocked down, but you gotta get up because if you get up and fight, that's the only time you will know what else is out there for you. You can't be, you came all this way to get knocked down. You gotta get up and fight because something else is out there. And you know, the reality is sometimes you hear people tell you these things, then you're like, no, nah, I don't want to hear that. But trust me, boss, there's, there's <laughs> more out there. You, you, you gotta take the good with the bad, otherwise, sports ain't for you. And, and also, it's a part of life. Yeah. No, absolutely, man. Yeah, no, you guys were. That was that was a big experience for me. And you said you guys were undefeated in the four by one most of the year. I mean, you guys were competing at a high level. That was a high level. Well, it was a high level team. And one yeah. of the things I explained to people is that when I was leaving junior college, I mean, I I I could have gone anywhere. You know, I was going in ten one. 20 point something. I don't, my, I'm, I'm old now. So, <laughs> <laughs> but when I, when I visited TCU, the difference was they had Davis Cotton Bale who beat me. Yeah, yeah. Carter Flash Williams who beat me. And Lindell Prater who beat me. So I came here and I'm like, yeah, this is the place I want to be. This is where I want to be. Because I could have gone to another school where I would have been a giant amongst dwarf. And I wasn't going to take the easy way out. And this is why you're a world champion, because you went where it was hard. You went where steel sharp as steel. You put yourself around some steel. Yeah, because I know <laughs> they, <laughs> that they could. I know that they have beaten me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? It's not that, oh, he maybe, no, he did beat me. Yes. Yeah. And you have to understand, you can go. And be lazy, or you can go and work. And when you work, you get paid. 